So today I've come to visit Kirsty Greenwood, the artist behind Metamorphosis in her studio in Ripon, and she's going to talk us through how we came to that design. So it all started from a piece, this piece of marbling here. And um, Kirsty, do you want to talk a bit more about how you work with marbling? Um, yeah, I use it often initially just as a base. So I like the idea of having something which is abstract and, and random and then picking out the things that I see in it, which could be, in this instance, faces, um, animals, trees, plants, etc., um, which has a name and it's pareidolia. It's the phenomenon, phenomenon of us being able to see faces and recognisable shapes in random patterns or shadow, light pieces of toast, <laughs> etc. Um, so I'm really interested in that idea of being able to take an abstract picture and then make something recognisable out of it, which is what we did with Metamorphosis. Um, using the marbling initially, and then we went on to make a repeat to make the pattern. Yeah, so we worked on that we together, did didn't we? So we got, yeah. got this piece of marbling, which we thought was good, but we weren't sure how it was going to repeat. And then... We took it and sort of worked out how we could do, I think this is a half drop repeat, mm. something that didn't look too obvious. Mm. So we did it on a small scale first, printing it out lots of times and um, sticking them together with sellotape, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we tried to do it on Photoshop. And once we'd realised that that would work, yeah. you then took okay. that marbling, didn't you? And then you yeah. created... I took that section again <laughs> in order to make it a repeat. And we decided that we'd have three colours, didn't we? So gold was one that we wanted, um, which is that one. And then a darker colour, which is the middle one. And then another colour, which ended up being green. So those three layers make... Yeah, so it's a screen print. So we've got three colours to work with. And you picked out these creatures yeah. and images out of it. So what was your inspiration behind that? Um, well, I kind of had a... Like underwatery theme, I was thinking of. I don't know why, really. It just I wanted to do claws and tentacles, tendrils, and um, and a face. I wanted it to have a face, and it. We'd spoken about that, haven't we? Um, so, um, and then the gold, the stars, and the comets, and just to try and make it a little bit otherworldly. Um, and yeah, just uh, I wanted it to be a little bit strange and. You know, not quite as obvious as it might be. If you look at it, there are things you can pick out which are, you know, obvious shapes and body parts and faces. Um, yeah, so here's the original. You did it on tracing paper, didn't you? Yeah, so, you, so that's so three so you laid... tracing paper. So I started with the black layer first. So you laid the tracing paper on that yeah, piece of so marbling. Trace paper on there so I could pick out black bits. And then another layer of tracing paper for what I'd drawn on this to do the next layer. And then again with the gold, there was like three layers of tracing paper over that. So I could see through it and still be able to pick out what I wanted whilst being able to see what I'd already done. Um, so then we came to making the final thing, didn't we? And it was a screen print. So it was a little bit scary because we sort of knew what we want, <laughs> vaguely what we wanted to look like. But until you get the screens made, you don't really know. Um, so we got the repeat and we knew we wanted it really big. Mm. Um, I like working with big, yeah, big repeats so that yeah. you can't see the repeat. That was too good much. for me because usually my work's really small and intricate and fits in a frame, and so I really liked having to having to make it big. It yeah, I think is something yeah, really nice really to do. Pare it down, you know. So I really enjoyed that. that yeah, and but I think the marbling being the background but in one color was a bit. A bit different as well. I wasn't sure how that was going to work yeah, out. So yeah. when I spoke to the factory, they were. I was like, well, I want it to look like different shades of one colour. Yeah. Uh, which we've eventually achieved. Yeah. Um, and then you can see we. I'm really pleased with how the gold worked out. So yeah, that was a special yeah, kind of. I'm so glad we got that. Special kind of screen, and then we had to have another kind of screen for the green bits, which are a bit shiny, and then there's a matte yeah. ink there, which is the grey. So it was kind of quite a lot of work and until that day when I went to the factory I had no idea what it was really going to look like which mm. was um, a bit scary because by then you've already played with the screens and yeah. there's a 
big machine and some people waiting to print it. Mm. So what what do you are you pleased with the final result? I'm Kirsten? really pleased with it. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I am. It's, I think it's everything I wanted in it, and and I'm so happy that we got the gold. <laughs> yeah, and the green as well because I, I think I initially wanted yeah you wanted the green, green and I was like yeah. red and then I came around to your way of thinking. Yeah, so I'm glad we did that. Yeah, I think it's worked yeah, out really I love well. It. It's brilliant.